Yo, what's good? It's Aerithel. We're gonna do a little bit of um intro to Blender, Chrome type, abstract math, and um yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first we're going to I just imported this um model from Daz. It's just like a basic model nothing um, special what I'm gonna do because we don't need it's just a mask right so we're just gonna delete the mesh like the body mesh so all you have to do is click on it and I press tab to go to edit mode and then you go to so you're on the vertices right now and then you click toggle x-ray so you could see all the vertices even behind her and then we're just gonna cut that off and then press X and to delete and we're gonna delete all vertices and then you press tab again and then we're good and then just turn this off um and then so now we have this model uh just the model's head and then we're going to press shift a to add a bezier curve um so we go to curve and then all the way to the top bezier and then it will be all the way down here so what we're going to do is press tab again press all, uh, press A for all and then nope A and then X and then we're gonna delete all the vertices we're still gonna stay inside the edit um, mode of the Bezier curve click that little that little arrow thing to bring up this tab over here and then we're gonna go to Okay, we're gonna go to, oh, actually we're gonna go to draw, sorry. We're gonna go to draw here, um, and then tool, and then we're gonna change this to surface, because we wanna draw it on the surface of the, of the model. Um, and then you could start drawing, that's pretty much it. Um, so, I really like symmetry, if you've seen my work um, on Instagram, it's Parasel. Uh, I'll plug it in. Um, but yeah, if you see my work, I really like symmetry. So we're going to be going with that. Okay, so when we're done, we're gonna actually take off the mirror modifier because we want to edit, we want to sculpt this mirrored, if that makes sense. You'll see what I'm talking about later. Um, so we're gonna go down to the object data properties in the busy curve, and then we're gonna go to geometries, and then we're going to not extrude, we're going to depth. And um, so now it's expanded. We're going to go to 0 0.01. That's too thin for me. So I'm gonna go to 0 0.03. And that's a little, little too thick. 0. Point, that doesn't work. Um, 0 0.2. I guess we'll, we'll work with 0 0.2. Okay, so now that's there. So once you're happy with everything, you want to convert to mesh. We're going to go to the modifier and we're going to remesh this. Um, so now it's gonna disappear, don't be scared. Uh, it, we're gonna set it to voxel and we're just gonna bring it all the way down. It really depends on the scale. So this is the perfect amount for me. It might not be the perfect amount to you depending on how big your mask is and how big your model is. So once you have all like the shape there, we're going to apply. Then we're going to press tab again. So in edit mode, so we see all the vertices, press A to select all, um, right click on your mouse. And we're gonna subdivide this 
because we want the more vertices you have, the more smoother your mesh is going to look. Now we're going to mirror it. Um, mirror, and it should just mirror how it mirrored before. We're going to turn on clipping. I'm going to go to edit again. And then we're just going to move it so the two points of the nose are touching. And then we're just going to put that there. So it's mirrored. This is where we sculpt. So what you want to do here is we're going to elastic deform and snake hook. That's your best friend in um, Blender for me when you're sculpting stuff like this. And all you're doing is just doing this. Um, that's not what I want to do. And then we can make the radius smaller so we can get in those tight creases. Yeah, I think, I think we're good here. Okay, so we're done with the sculpting. Now we're going to add material. Go in the corner right here. Nope. Go in the corner to the plus and we're gonna open a new window. Um, then we're going to go over here and we're going to shader editor. We're just gonna make a basic material which is pretty easy so you want the principal BSDF um, make sure you're clicking your mesh so this material applies to this mesh all you want to do is uh, go to metallic 100% metallic we want the roughness to be zero because we want a shiny material we don't want it to be rough you want to have a little bit of roughness to show a little bit of realism um, I don't really know what specular does um, but I just turn that down and then that's pretty much it for your chrome material And then if you want like a different color chrome Then you could change that but I just want basic chrome. That's what we're gonna do um, <laughs> It's going to world so this is our environment now um, Now we're going to duplicate this tab with a shift D I don't really know what it's on Mac, but for PC it's Shift D. And then we're going to add a node, which is Shift A shortcut. And then we're gonna search, we're gonna press Mix, Mix Shader. And then we're gonna plug that in here. We're also going to add a light, light path um, because we don't wanna show our environment texture. Um, and we just want a plain black background. Um, and then we're going to click the, the duplicate background into the sh uh, other shade plug. And then we're going to add an environment texture and plug that into the first one. Um, then we're going to open, we're going to open HDRI. All these are HDRIs that I, that I've used. Um, you could find it on HDRI Haven, which is where all these are from. Um, I'm just gonna go roof garden. What I'm changing right now is just the viewport render and I don't want it to be that high because I'm just looking at it just to see what the materials and everything looks like. That is the camera, we're gonna change that. Um, and then my usual sample count for my renders is a thousand. And then I turn off denoise. So after, okay, we're, we'll change that now. Um, we'll go to 3D render port, 3D viewport, go all the way back, and then we see the camera. Click the camera, click on this object data properties. We want to change this to 200, or I'd say 150 to 200, or 100 to 200. 
um, depends on what you're kind of going for. I usually do portraits. So I do 200 to 150. Um, we're going to go to transform, press 90, and then we're going to press zero. Um, so I usually do square um, pictures, which would be 1080 by 1080, but I want to have it high detailed. So I'm going to go 2000 pixels by 2000. That's what I usually do. But just for the tutorial's sake, I'll do 1080 by 1080. And then we'll bump it up to 150. And then I just put color depth 16 and then compression zero. And then now we want to go to the camera view and then we're just moving it so we could get the perspective. Yeah, now we have our camera set up. We want to get our light set up which is right here and then I'm just gonna go to light and then area light it's at a thousand which we don't need right now um, that's really bright um, actually okay let's do this first um the because of the size of the model and then like this is really small so you don't need that much light i'm just gonna put a hundred for now um you want to have a three point lighting setup which is really important to get um high quality renders and for them to look professional um so i'm just setting this up you want it to point there. It depends on where you want the light to really be hitting her. Um, one here. And then we're gonna duplicate this by selecting the light and then pressing, con I mean, pressing Shift D and then just right clicking. Um, and that is going to mirror. Actually, we don't really need it to mirror right now. Just go to transform zero zero enter zero so now that's just facing down and now we just put it to 90. actually we're doing negative 90 because we wanted to face the back of her head just so we kind of get that ring not ring light but i don't know the effect on what we're talking about but just like for three points set up three white points set up so we have that set up. Um, you want the backlight to be brighter. So I'll go 200. And then for this next light, uh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna mirror it. And then put it kind of over here and then this light is going to be um really really dim i will put it, i will i'll put it to 25 just to see and then let's just see the textured view so i guess it's like rendered view um and then there we go so actually that's what I want to do. I wanted to change the background color. So we're going to shade editor again. We're still in world. And then just turn this all the way down to black. Um, and then we go to 3D viewport again. And then press the viewport again. And then there you go. Yeah, if you could just experiment with the light, sometimes I actually don't really want actually I like how this looks I'm not gonna put the three there I'm just gonna put one so I'm just gonna delete this just press X and that's gone um, yeah I'm happy with that 
um, I'm gonna turn this off back to modeling mode and then we're going to set up the compositing. You want to turn on use nodes and so this is the basic compositing but we want to spice it up a little bit. So what you want to do is um, press shift A and then we're going to add a glare node. Glare. I'm just going to add all these nodes and then um, edit them after. And we're going to put a saturation. Um, no, this is the wrong input. Uh, saturation. There's two. I don't know why there's two, but that the, the yellow one is what you want. Um, and then we're going to add a lens distort. Um, lens distortion. And you want them in this order. Um, um, you want them in this order because Blender reads it from here to here. So from left to right. Um, so for the distortion, well, the dispersion is we're going to have like a, um, chromatic abrasion effect. So we're just going to put that to literally like two. We don't want it that high. Like, I think that's even too high. Just like zero point, we'll put zero point two. Um, we're going to put the saturation a little bit up and then we're going to add the, the, the glare. We're going to put it on high and then we're just going to put this down a little bit. And then also we want to have a viewer, viewer node so we could actually see what we're, what we're looking at. And that just goes here. Just wait until it um, is done compositing. If you want to zoom out, just press V so you can see. So it hasn't rendered yet because we haven't rendered anything. Um, so yeah, let's so let's render it out and then we'll come back and see if we need any changes to the compositing. So that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching my instagram is right here um follow me on instagram um more tutorials will be coming leave um some com i mean leave some suggestions and ideas in the comments below and um yeah leave some comments if you had any problems i will get back to you for sure and uh yeah thank you so much